This is an issue when you have VirtualBox and Hyper-V installed on your computer. For example, I'm starting VirtualBox and it should boot from a, an ISO file. But if we go to Settings, Control Panel, and uninstall a program, here in the left, turn Windows features on and off. We can see that also Hyper-V is installed, it's checked and when both of these virtual computers are installed we can get this error message that states that we don't have a 64-bit processor. Okay, so that's not true but let's uncheck Hyper-V and this will remove Hyper-V from the computer. Let's power off VirtualBox also. Okay, and after restarting the computer virtual the virtual computer hyper-v is uh, removed and virtual box if it started this time it should work just fine let's check in settings control panel uninstall a program and turn Windows features on and off that uh, Hyper-V this time is un unchecked, that means it's, it's uninstalled and in this case VirtualBox should work just fine and here it is, the window appears and uh, Windows can be installed. Okay, that's it, thank you, bye bye.